Hi budding biologists and welcome to a clip where we'll be looking at module one at semi-permeable membranes and answering a couple of questions relating to that content. Um, the first part of the question is asking us to look at the diagram below and model to represent the process of osmosis of the investigation above. So it's relating to osmosis, that's that movement of water, and from the investigation above we know that there's sucrose inside a dialysis tube and it's inside a solution of water. So X's mark water and sucroses are our dots. Um, key thing that we have to understand is water is going to move from high concentration to low concentration to make it equal. And sucrose molecules are far too large to be able to pass through um, the semi-permeable membrane of dialysis tubing. So to be able to get our equilibrium, all our water molecules are going to have to move across the membrane. So first off, we have to have the same number of sucrose molecules. There were six. And next, we're going to draw our water molecules um, in solution with our sugar and there should be the same amount as there was above which is 12. Due to the sugar molecules being too large they're not able to pass back through the membrane to reach equilibrium. The next part of the question asks us to explain why many terrestrial plants die when exposed to increasing salt concentrations in soil. So this Increasing salt means that there's the formation of a hypotonic solution because there's high concentration of salt, low concentration of water outside the plant root, and there's a high concentration of water inside. So the water's going to move from high to low across the concentration gradient. So let's look at the response that I'm writing. So we need to understand how those concentrations are different. We need to relate that to osmosis and types of solutions and why that would cause death in the plant. So due to having high concentration of salt in the soil, the water moves from inside the plant to the soil. This decreases the water availability in the plant for metabolic processes, so for photosynthesis and respiration. And this will result in plant death. To make my answer more um, higher marked, I need to increase my biology vocabulary. So I need to write osmosis is the process for moving the water and the high concentration would be a hypertonic solution. I hope this helps you understand how to answer this question a little better. Um, I look forward to putting some more videos like this up soon. All right, bye for now.